It could be a giant Cheeto turd. And then a uh, busted Chewy. It may be August 4th, but it is spooky season in our hearts. It is the first day things are starting to open. We're gonna show you guys all the bootleg costumes and funny names they come up with. We're gonna show you all the brand new animatronics and we're gonna go to multiple Spirit Halloweens to show you guys where's the best one to go in Orlando. The craziest thing is Dick Van Dyke posted on his Instagram the other day that even he was trying to get into a Spirit Halloween, but they were closed. So August 4th is the first date that they start opening. Oh no, there's a dog crying for help. Somebody left it outside in the Orlando weather. Poor little guy. Will he ever find a home? I like that like <laughs> the banners were just like cut to fit on two separate windows. So <laughs> they literally just cut them in half and they're all spaced out a couple inches. And then over here you have like a neon skeleton. Those are some big glasses that you're wearing. Beard Halloween. It's so much fun. It's scary. We walked in. Oh. If you wonder what everybody looked like outside my uh, San Diego Airbnb, this is what they looked like. They have the exact same sounds too. Right. You best be careful where you tread on this dark night. You don't know who you will run into. Creatures and creepy crawlies lurk out from every shadow. Why, I was just hiding in your closet with the other skeletons. Perhaps we let them all out. <laughs> they got shorty here. Oh god. They don't have these on display, but they have nozzles the clown. It's Oogie's turn to boogie now. Now if you're a diehard fan for $17, they got the Spirit Halloween shirt. Oh, they got a Chucky mask. Now I have never played Fortnite, believe it or not, but the only one that I feel like I would ever dress up as is, uh, is Peely. But look at the face on that. That's nightmare fuel right there. They have all these Naruto costumes and they just have a little Appa beanie. They have a little pillow from it of the SS this, Georgie. I'm one. digging all those Beetlejuice stuff, right? The Zagnut, there's like a little uh, tray for candy, a little candlestick with a sandworm. I think I actually might buy this. Here lies Beetlejuice, right? And it says gravestone. It's pretty small. Might look good in the office. Then this glass is like slanted. Never trust the living. That's funky. They got a mug for the, for the recently deceased. Oh, they have a little plush sandworm. That's good. They have some gel stickers. Strange and unusual. This is like a little sign that you can hang up. Dante's Inferno Room. I really like this too. No feet for Halloween. Then they have the Beetlejuice light up sign right here. That's pretty cool. Oh, here's a little journal for the handbook of the recently deceased. And then they have some plushes down here. Oh lordy. I don't know if they uh, turned out very well in plush form. Oh, look at this photo frame from Trick or Treat. All the kids who, uh, you know, died on the bus. Look at these retro Star Wars costumes, right? This is how you would buy them back in the day. They would come out in boxes like this. Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Yoda, C-3PO. I love the box art, that's so good. This is all the different versions of Jason from Friday the 13th from every single one of the films. All the different variations. That's great. The Salem Sentinel, witches return from the dead. For Hocus Pocus, you can see the uh, vacuum right there. But I like this. This is from The Shining from the Overlook Hotel, right? It's got like kind of where all the murders happened. The hotel. This almost looks like, you know, like a emergency exit this way. This type of sign. A little Chucky greeter to put your candy in. A little light up Sam pumpkin. You have Stormy Sea Pirate. Then you have a just peasant dress. Instead of Maverick, they just have a flight suit. Cardiac arrest. <laughs> They have a Hawkins High Gear uniform right there. Then they also have a Eleven's little outfit. It just says Eleven. But they just have this random like Rick hat that just flicks you off. Oh my God! Look at that Beetlejuice mask. There's Barbara's mask, and then they even have Adam's mask right here. Oh, they look weird when you see them in person. Which type of Beetlejuice are you? Are you this type of Beetlejuice, or are you this type of Beetlejuice? All these Freddy masks. So you got like Nightmare Four, Original Nightmare. Uh, these look like me kind of in middle school after my acne scars. Then you have a, a Michael Myers 
mask by Freddy Krueger's glove. It's pretty detailed. Looks pretty good. But they have so many different versions, right? So you have like Halloween 1, Halloween 2. Then you go to Blumhouse's Halloween. Then they have a Jason jersey, a little hockey jersey. But then they have Jason's mask with a giant machete. So many different versions of varieties. I like the Camp Crystal Lake hat. Then they have Jason socks and Jason beanies. Huge t-shirt wall here. One for Creep Show. Put on a happy face for Leatherface. You'll float too a Pennywise. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Easy Bake Coven. Let's summon demons. Crouchy. Creeping it real. Let's get smashed. Nightcrawler. This is one of their animatronics that they sell. He is for existential dread. Adopt the familiar black magic Animal Rescue, Halloween Safety, Monsters, Wish It Was Friday, G is for Ghostface, you got you know, Gizmo up there, Don't Feed After Midnight, Trick or Treat, Always Check Your Candy, You Don't Want Any Razors, Scary Movies and Chill, and I kind of like the Spirit Halloween shirt. A NASA jacket, then they have a, a white astronaut jumpsuit. Now what's the difference between a creepy scarecrow and a haunted scarecrow? They got the Spongebob inflatable, the Patrick inflatable. That is number one. Now they said the bigger one was at Plaza del Sol here, it's like 25 minutes away. So we're gonna rush there real quick before everything closes. This Spirit Halloween is located right next to a Burlington. See what they got. Oh wow. Oh my god. They have spooky hand sanitizer when you come in. Oh, it's spooky because it doesn't work and you'll get germs. You can smell the Spirit Halloween going on. We'll call it a hotel. It's the interactive immersive experience of um, Starship, uh, Star Galactica. And Galactic Starship, excuse me. We're gonna go into the tunnel, beware, beware flying bat. Oh, well, here's a boy Barry, does he work? This kind of looks like somebody locked up Larry David in a cage. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh yeah, look above. Oh God, it's not popping up very well with the uh, frame rate, but. I think something's supposed to be on there, but. Is he gonna talk? Where's Tom Hanks wearing his little uh, pumpkin suit? They have the Lydia wedding dress, and then they have the Beetlejuice wedding suit. Spirit Halloween exclusive will be Luigi for Mario Kart. They also have a, a marshmallow costume. I guess you just buy the marshmallow head. Okay, they have a Jared Leto Joker, but do they have a Morbius costume? I do like this couple's costume. The family video vest, that's pretty simple. From far away, I thought this was like a little uh, thong or something, but uh, do some chugging going on. But here we have a, a pipe lane expert, rock hard caulking, there is no hole or crack our caulk can't fill. I hope I don't get demonetized for reading that. A cougar hunter, deep ball, baseball team more hose plumbing service in and out lubricant expert okay jailbird <laughs> escaped convict all right here we got the couple's costumes uh peanut butter and jelly wait what does the jelly look like steak inflatable baby um a soap and loofah couple's outfit uh milk and cookie the works hot dog here's um box of wine and um as you can see that that's where the wine comes out right there god this is such, such a lazy design avocado and toast wait, wait, what are you reading right there no, a, nothing a spell book oh no and a bunch of moons what <laughs> what that. oh in the box look at that they have a sinister doll and then over here, I got everybody's favorite, little Chucky, the good boy. Here's the mystical section, a little, um, some Wiccan stuff. They have all the wigs, right? Here's Menacing Man. This is what all slackers look like. Now, apparently these are midnight curls. What do 11 o'clock curls look like? Did you find out what you're gonna buy? Hell no. Stuffed, uh, stuffed dummy prop. Look at that face. Here's a little Annabelle doll that you can buy. It reminds me a lot of like the Chucky dolls from the movie. Rubber chicken. I didn't even squeeze him that hard and he went on for that long. That's for you, Ben. That's for you. Here's an inflatable walker and a, a whip. And then we then we have a money shooter. It shoots out money from like a little money gun. God, this is a really good mask. King of the Crows. Oh, that's terrifying. Here's a crazy clown with a mask and chest and something else kit. It could be a crazy clown. 
They have little like uh, monkey skeletons, little birds, and then all different versions of skeletons right there. They have like a Cthulhu skull, poor little baby turtle skeleton. Then they have a shark skull right here. I've never seen one of these. If you've ever wondered where people get these for the big grand openings, they get them here at Spirit Halloween, the giant scissors. It's like a little photo op area. Now this walkthrough experience is not built yet. As you can see, there's all these different wires and everything hanging from there. So it's all cautioned off. So it looks like there's really cool like animatronics happening, but not open yet. This might be the worst Chewbacca mask I've ever seen. This is so bad. It looks like he was run over. Inflatable wavy arm guy. Works perfectly if you're going for a nope costume. I like these inflatable Stay Puft Marshmallow Men costumes. Lucky bottoms. Yeah, I guess you want him on your bottom. I, I don't know where this joke was going, but... Oh. This is a Jack Spirit Acres Farm. Creeping the land since 1983. There's some really cool like uh, projections. They really have gone all out this year, kind of with the displays for the animatronics. They're all not set up, right? They still have to set up this one and that one and that one for the walkthrough, but oh, that is a creepy looking spider with like scars on it. Ooh, let's see if you get a little photo up here. What's a Sam Sidestepper? I well, didn't say press, but none of them work. Come on, Sam. Do the dance for us. Look at this light. All right, so it's like Sam's little lollipops, right? But the light only lights up that little part. There's a little trick-or-treat lamp. It just lights up a little bit, a little LED in it. Here's a really cool, like, the Losers Club, Harry Main sign. Sanderson's Witch Museum, Salem, Massachusetts. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. It's a cool sign. A little sidestepper Billy down here. Will he dance for us? Come on, Billy, dance for us, buddy. This is pretty cool. It's a 30 inch Billy's Gravestone from Hocus Pocus. This is a 10 out of 10. It's Beetlejuice's grave and it lights up. It's a very bright, vibrant light in there. This is great. They got a Beetlejuice Monopoly. I guess so. You can buy your own gravestones. Well, they do have some different plushes here. I bought mine from Amazon of a sandworm. But they have the shrunken head. Now these all light up. I think they're $17 a piece though. Now they have Beetlejuice when he turns into a snake and he lights up, apparently. No? One mask? Okay, one, one mask, yes. $3. You could buy a whole box for like, you know, five bucks. What do they have this labeled at? It just says, try me. No, uh, we all know what this is. They always have these really interesting uh, gravestones. The weeping angel, these like souls coming out. Here's a neck chain. Whose neck is this thick? Are you gonna be a good witch today or a bad witch today? Talking pumpkin door knocker. How about this one? No? Let me catch your weight before and after I take a few bites out of Coral! Coral! It's, it's coral. Coral. Yes, a coral. Coral! Coral! <laughs> we got walkers everywhere! Instead of Frankenstein, here's uh, just Big Frank. Okay, all right, here's all the click on some outer space stuff. You got a shorty mask, you got a spiky mask. Oh, then they have like a latex shorty mask, but then you can buy the gun, the cotton candy gun. That's pretty cool. It just makes a sound. You could be a giant Cheeto turd. Here's a, a flaming hot Cheeto. Here's a little like a hanging Sam you can put on your porch. I don't know if he moves, he looks like a little, he's afraid to punch you or something. Here's a sewer varmint animatronic. I guess it's a two-headed like rat. Man's possessed friend. The dog that just comes out and jumps at you. Now, they just released the trailer for the Spirit Halloween the movie and Christopher Lloyd is one of the main characters. Yes, they made a movie for Spirit Halloween available in all video on-demand platforms October 14th. I feel like I have to watch it and review it for you guys. Every kid's favorite costume. They have little Grogu. Then down here they have a waste management ride-along costume. If I had a kid, I'd dress him up as Gizmo. This mic looks so pleased. And here's little Sully and then Stitch. Oh, and Lord, then you got the minions. How many little minions are gonna be running around this year? And they're selling creepy dolls. A creepy Wolfman doll, eerie Emma haunted doll. Oh, they got the green Oogie Boogie now. <gasps> Cause I got the normal one last year. I feel like I almost need him. I know, I got this Oogie Boogie plush last year, but so they have the same one in green. Then they have the little teddy bear. These are gonna be $27. Boogie Boogie Operation. They have a Jack plush and Sally plush. They have zero, it says try me. I'm, I'm trying, there's nothing, nothing happening. They have a magnet set of the bus from the Haunted Mansion. A bunch of gel stickers. Then they have a gravestone. Here lies good old Fred, a great big rock fell on his head. 
<laughs> What'd you find? I found your costume, Kevin. <laughs> my people, my my Tuscan people, right there. Oh, oh, it's like a really hard. It's, it smells bad. Yeah, that's Spirit Halloween for you. Yeah. What's the smell in there? I'm not gonna smell it. Oh, there's a little hole. Right? Oh, that looks like a little. Um, we all know what that looks like. They have a Frankenstein mask. I think Frankenstein has seen better days, though. My favorite Universal monster, the creature from the Black Lagoon. His lips look at the size of his big fish lips. And that's a full. It's a round. That's not just the face. That thing is pretty impressive. You're looking at seventy dollars, though. They have a Palpatine mask, and they have a Darth Maul mask, then they have a Bosque mask, and then a busted Chewy. These are so good. Well, so bad. They're so good. Little babies uh, eating mice. Little babies eating spiders. And little babies eating humans. They're scared of babies. Well, don't be scared of these. And then they have like a little praying demonic baby with these like evil demon babies. And just like hands and feet. Everything you could need. They got here. They have all these different weapons. This is the huge mass section that they have. I think this is supposed to be like the knockoff bad guy from Squid Games. Uh, hooded darkness. Glow in the dark hockey mask. Okay, they do have Billy. Vintage monster mask instead of Frankenstein. Hell wire vintage robot mask. Metallic ghoul. A full gas mask. Vintage ragdoll. Smiley. A zombie. Possessed pumpkin. Neon clown. Baby president. Female clown mask, funny face for the purge, Uncle Bobby, none for you, brown gas mask. Here's all the different characters that you like hang up on your porch. All the clowns, Frankensteins, and devils. Then they just have like severed heads everywhere. So you have like pig heads, double-sided heads, full zombies. They have an inflatable reaper, eight foot tall inflatable skeleton, a ghost, inflatable cat, jack-o'-lanterns, eight foot tall inflatable Frankenstein. Then they have an inflatable hearse that you can put in your yard now. Eight foot tall wolf man. Clown toe tapper. Gary flying ghost. This is when they're on the line and they'll go back and forth. Donnie the dino. This is a Mr. Dark animatronic. Then they have the night crawler. This is a creepy animatronic that they have. I always thought these are so cool to like carry your uh, candy, but they fill up in like two houses. They're not practical. Let's see if there's any cool ones. Uh, it's time to play. They have a Chucky one. Then they have a Slimer one and a standard just ghost. Does anyone actually use these to carry their candy? X-ray skeleton. These are just like little light up pumpkins. I got from Nightmare Before Christmas. So you got like Oogie Boogie right there. Then you have Sally. They have all these vintage lunch boxes. Star Wars. Trick or Treat. Good Boys. Ugh. Sanderson Sisters. This one's my favorite, I think. For Gremlins. Nightmare Before Christmas. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Harry Potter. And then Scooby Doo down there. Hi, Matt. I need you to show up the mats for us. Welcome, foolish mortals. They have a Haunted Mansion one. We have a Ouija board. Yes. I have no clue. Oh, look. Another glorious morning makes me uh, sick from a uh, Hocus Pocus. Look out, Kevin. Uh, this one is just deeply disturbing. It's just uh, Pennywise creeping through a grate. So scare kids if they came to your house and you had this on the porch. Welcome. You'll float too. Every day is Halloween. All right, Friday the 13th. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. That's actually a pretty cool one. It's a very animated 90s version of the killer clowns from outer space. If you're a fan of them, I feel like you need this mat for your house. Welcome. We've been expecting you. That uh, makes no sense well, for Halloween. Well, there's Michael Myers up well, there. Yeah, but when does this We've, ever be set? They have one for Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Have a knife day. The last one is a little trick-or-treat one, and it's got the silhouette shadow of uh, little Sam right there. These are pretty cool. Fan of mugs, they got, uh, they got the Freddy Krueger mug. A ghost face mug, all sorts of Halloween mugs, and they even have a little Grogu. You can never escape him. There's a pretty cool Gremlins one, though, with Gizmo's eyes. A shorty mug. Here's that same animated design for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, here's the uh, 
that Halloween light. This is all like blankets and everything. They have little Sam like squishy pillows and Jack Skellington pillows. Okay, quick rundown. Ouija board blanket. Beware of hitchhiking ghost blanket. Uh, Beetlejuice blanket. A ghost face blanket. Halloween the Curse of Michael Myers blanket. I wish it was Friday blanket. Bunch of the characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. A Sanderson sisters blanket. The cartoon, same design for the killer clowns, but as a blanket. Time to float. They have um, little dog costumes. Tricks for treats pet t-shirt from little Sam's to his top of his little lollipop it's bitten off it's a little purse and it's even got a little Sam right there they have a costume for uh, Georgie and his raincoat that's really creepy then they just have a Pennywise mask the OG miniseries Pennywise you can buy Sam's lollipop oh that's all they have okay so they just have a random Billy head yeah just chilling here's a gizmo couples costume then here's kind of like a almost like a lounge fly it's weird and fuzzy Got a banana peel down there. Okay, it's seven o'clock. Uh, they're open from 11 till seven, so they've officially closed. Uh, let's go home to the office and talk about everything. Okay, so guys, we are back at home. Let's talk about Spirit Halloween. First off, the music in there is so loud. It feels like you're at a concert and you get seated right next to the loudspeakers. You can barely hear yourself. I'm sorry if you hear all this loud background music. My mic did the best it could, but it, it was loud. A lot of really cool stuff. I kind of like that they're focusing more on like collectibles and different decorations and they're not really focusing too much on costumes, right? They do have some cool costumes, but I feel like the main thing is like really cool decorations. That's the reason to go to Spirit Halloween. When I went to, there was one on 535, kind of near um, like the, CP Walmart that we would all go to. The bigger Halloween was at uh, Plaza del Sol. So if you type that into your GPS, it, it'll pop up. Just go to that shopping center and you'll see the giant spirit Halloween next to the Burlington. This is just kind of the start, right? There's gonna be a lot more stores opening in Orlando. They haven't fully set everything up. This is just kind of like a little sneak preview to show you guys what's at Spirit Halloween this year for, you know, 2022. We got Not So Scary coming up. I'm gonna do another Horror Nights uh, update probably tomorrow. Got some uh, cool things I gotta talk about. And then Alice and I will be at not so scary on opening days I, our costumes have still not arrived a little stressed out but i think they're gonna be good let me know down in the comments what costume do you think allison and i are wearing for mickey's not so scary at disney world guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already hit the subscribe button join the family i love the family because i'm gonna keep you up to date on all things spooky and scary around the country all right guys i love you all please stay scary and i will see you all very soon Cool. $30 for the font juice.